Okay, so the bottom bit's dry and we're gonna move on to the top bit. I've just put a layer of water on there now so we're doing wet on wet again. Way too much of my brush. Too much water on the page, that's all right. Take it a bit off on the side of the jar. Starting off using the same colour as the one I started off with at the bottom. Um, but I just added a little bit more, a tad more water to the palette, so just to make it a little bit lighter so that we'll have, you know, a bit of a distinction between that bottom bit and the top. lines like it did here across the bottom
so I shall um, just cut in a little bit behind the doors. I've been leaving the bars, or well, I am going to be leaving the bars on the balcony to last because that's black and that will then go over whatever colour. I think I'm gonna come to the bottom now and um, concentrate on the pot. So I'm gonna switch brushes for a small one just to be a bit more accurate. I'm 
just picking up a little bit of yellow ochre because I think that would be a better colour for it. It's just not, it wasn't, um, wasn't quite deep enough. yellow pot next. It's just a tiny, tiny one. Just dried my brush and um, just soaking it that little bit there that went over the edge. fluid and um, yeah that'll be a little little gaps for us to get the the flowers in there okay so I'm gonna wait for that to dry um, so the next thing I think I'm gonna do is mix up my paint for um, the windowsills
this looks a bit funny when I'm um, painting at this bottom bit. It looks a bit scruffy because um, it's the bits of um, uh, masking fluid that you can see. It's like bobbly, like that, that bit there, that bit there. But when this is dried, then um, that'll just rub off and it won't, won't be there anymore. So, yes, I'm definitely happier with that colour there. That's definitely better. More accurate to the terracotta pots that we, that we know. And I'm going to just take, wipe my brush, take a little bit off that one. Before I do that, I might put in a little bit more of a darker colour on this inside um, bit in between the wall and the shutter, um, just to make it a little bit more, a little bit darker. Um, and then let that dry and I'll come back to that, I'll do those shutters last maybe, because um, yeah, I don't want um, the colours to blend together, obviously. That's the thing with watercolour. If you're going to touch one wet area, which is next to another wet area, are just gonna like infuse together so sometimes you want that to happen but if you don't want it to happen you have to be extra careful that the area you're doing is dry before, before you uh, work on it
so if you go over the line it's quite easy to repair the mistake you just wash your brush make sure the paint's off give it a dry on your cloth and then go over that area again and it will just pick up that bit that you that you um that you left that you want to pick back up right so accessories in this colour.
can see that.
the with the um, shutters on the balcony of the top. dry there so I can I can make sure my fingers are dry it's very satisfying um, <laughs> rubbing off um, the fluid masking um, stuff. on the um, the shutters and the door Foliage. Let's get to the foliage. So I've mixed up a little, mixed up a little bit of light green by using a little bit of the door um, color and a little bit of the yellow color. So let's see how that goes. I'm just doing a very light green to start because um, you can always go over then with a bit of something darker later on because there's always going to be more than one colour in foliage so we don't want to go in with something bold straight away I 
add in a bit more of the green from the door. like it was more dead than alive didn't really have a lot of color in it <laughs> it's like I'm judging some of these balcony flowers when I can't grow diddly squat myself I've left those little dots in and then done the green first and then rubbed them out. Never mind. I'm not going to do um, big blocks of colour, so it's not going to be like. Um, yeah, that is gonna be no room for flowers.
Right, so I'll leave that bit to dry and come back with some flowers later on. Because I don't want the flowers to merge in with the green, that's just for sure. Right, I'm going I just want to make enough room for plenty of um, flowers from the box there. And what I'm going to do is, if I can, I'm going to try and cut into this door. Stick that the flowers are going up to the side. <clears throat> okay. when I was looking a bit on the dead side. <laughs> How judgmental am I? Well, it was looking dead enough. It wasn't flourishing, so I wasn't putting in what I saw. Please don't tell them if you work out whose house it is that I'm being judgmental. Their lack of skills in the plant department. I feel like I should leave the flowers to last because they're the pretty bits. <laughs> I don't like to do them last, but yeah, I don't know if I should do some more green down here or not. I like a different tone, maybe. from where I was standing like I couldn't say oh that's this plant or that plant because um I couldn't really yeah I couldn't really tell so I think that's that's better actually because it looks more a collection of things but you can't see what it is exactly so that's better 
Okay, so I'm gonna take a break, I think, and then I'm gonna draw um, in the lamp. I'll show you the lamp. I'm gonna come back to do the lamp, but there's the lamp. So, yes, yeah, so I need to have a little think about when I'm gonna do the lamp and the sign. 